So this question starts off by giving us this equation here. The issue with this equation is that it's um, there, there are no numbers, there's no values provided. All right, we have A, B, C, D, and X here. So the question says, in the equation above, A, B, C, and D are constants. If the equation has roots, negative 1, negative 3, and 5, which of the following is a factor of that original equation? So the trick to this question really falls in here. Roots, negative 1, negative 3, and 5. And as tricky as this question may seem, it's actually very simple once you see how to solve it. It starts off by understanding what the word roots means. What is, what is a root? Right. So a root is a value of x that makes the equation true. So for instance, if we say a root is negative 1, that means when x equals negative 1, then this ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d does in fact equal 0. Okay. Now, a couple of other things. If I have a polynomial with the highest uh, variable, or sorry, the highest exponent being 3, that means I expect to only have three factors when I factor this polynomial. The roots, negative 1, negative 3, and 5, actually tell me what those factors must be. So for instance, in order to get an x equals negative 1, I'd have to have an x plus 1 here. In order to get an x equals negative 3, I'd have to have an x plus 3 here. And in order to have 5, positive 5 as a root, I'd have to have x minus 5 there. How do I know that? Well, I know that because if I factored a polynomial and this is what I was left with, saying that that, that factored form is equal to zero, then what I do is set each individual parenthesis equal to zero. And what you see is that in each case, I get the roots that the question tells me I have. So I'm kind of just reverse engineering this process here. The question tells me the roots, therefore I know the factors. Okay. So then which one of the factors, right? So the question says which of the following is a factor. So again, I'm going to just rewrite this so we can see it very clean. Our factors are x plus 1 because negative 1 is a root. x plus 3 because negative 3 is a root and x minus 5 because positive 5 is a root. So the only factor listed in the answer choices that is a part of what we have listed here is x plus 1. So therefore, the answer must be choice B.